Hi guys! So I just recently completed Insanity Max 30 and as you guys know, every time I complete a program, I do a video telling you about it. Um, these are actually the most difficult videos for me to film just because when you're going through a program, your mind is like going crazy every single day thinking what you hate about it, what you love about it, like that you want to die or you want to finish the workout or that you love it this day and the next day it's just ridiculous and hard and so all these thoughts are going through your head but then once the workout's complete you kind of erase all that out of your head. It's kind of like going through you know child labor, childbirth, like you have a kid and in the moment it sucks and it's the worst but then afterwards you're like you know that wasn't so bad for what I got out of it so I think I could do it again. Um, but anyways, that was a long intro for that. Uh, but I do have some talking points, I guess, but I'm just going to kind of talk. So, if you guys have been following me for a while, or maybe you're new to my channel, hi. Um, my whole journey started, actually, with insanity. Insanity was what got me back on track. It's what brought my life back on track. I had, you know, two kids, and I was just unhealthy, and I was miserable, and I was tired, and I was hating my body. And I did Insanity, and everything changed. My life just completely changed. Doors open. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what we call your soulmate program. When you find a program that literally not only transforms you physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it just does everything for you, and you are hooked. Since doing Insanity... I have done a ton of programs that I love. I love Focus T25, another program by Shanti. I have done the 21 Day Fix, which I love, by Autumn Calabres. Um, I've done a lot of different programs besides those and love them, but I never found that program that I felt like was my soulmate program. Like, it wasn't the program that I was so excited to push play on every single day. And I felt that way about Insanity, but Insanity was super duper tough on my body. I mean, it is 60 minutes of go, 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 go. It is hard. It's a long time to take out of your day to get a workout in. Um, and so when I heard that Insanity Max 30 was coming out, I had so many different emotions. I was terrified like you wouldn't believe. I was so scared to do this program. I was excited to finally get a Shanti program that I was super duper pumped about again. Anyways, I'm, wow, I'm really rambling. I am so bad at this. But so Insanity Max 30, amazing, incredible program. I cannot say enough amazing things about this program. Um, people ask me all the time, I want to do Insanity, can I do Insanity or, and now it's, should I do Insanity or should I do Insanity Max 30? And without even a question in my mind, without a thought, I would say Insanity Max 30 over Insanity any day. Um, there's a lot of different reasons for it, which I will actually touch in another video where I do a comparison of the two programs, but this is just gold. Insanity Max 30 is gold and it's only 30 minutes so you're taking a way less of your day than when you do Insanity. The trainer is back. It is Shanti. I fell in love with Shanti the day that I started Insanity. His workouts just do it for me. He pumps me up and he motivates me and he inspires me and he's really involved in the program. He's not, you know, just walking around instructing people. He is doing the workouts. He is sweating. He is falling to the ground. Like, he is gulping down water. And I love that about him. There is actually a point in the video, in one of the videos, where he comes up to the, the screen like this and he says, how do you feel right now? And I was thinking in my head, well, Shanti, like, I feel like I'm dying. I feel miserable. And then he looks at the TV, comes closer and says, no, I want you to tell me right now through this screen, how are you feeling right now? And for the first time in any program, I was like, Shanti, I feel like death. Like, I feel like crap. And I had never felt that kind of connection to a trainer or to a workout. And there were parts where I was screaming at the TV, like we were saying, max out, max out, max out. And I was screaming back at the TV, which was a totally new thing for me. But I was just that drawn into the program, that motivated by the program. Another thing that I really loved about this program, that I also loved about Insanity, is that the participants in the disc don't make you feel inadequate. They don't make you feel like you just suck, basically. Um, I have done a lot of programs where the 
fitness level was not like crazy intense like the 21 day fix I am in shape and that program I would not be able to do some of the moves through a minute or for a minute through and I would sit there and look at the participants in the video and think how in the world are they able to get through that workout the entire time and you know that might not be important for some people but for me seeing a program that has the people in the program falling out makes me feel better about myself because I'm like hey they're quitting too like that person is knelt over that person has their hands above their head that person is laying on the ground they look just like me they are no better than me we are as one we might have different fitness levels but we are both pushing as hard as we possibly can to get the best results as we can so I love it when a program really makes an effort to show you that you are not less than the participants so major one for me the workouts in Insanity Max 30 so much fun funner than I think any program I've done I said that about Focus T25 because the Focus T25 workouts are really fun they're really bouncy um, but I just felt like the Insanity Max 30 workouts were like any workout we they weren't like any workout we had ever done they were very dynamic very complex the moves were all new they were quick they were just moves that you had fun doing and that didn't necessarily feel like work I like the concept of the different discs there are let's see there's disc where you do I think 20 seconds on 15 seconds off or 10 seconds off um, there's a disc where you do 45 seconds on 15 seconds off Friday fight round one and two, the hardest disc of the program. Friday Friday fight round two, Sean T actually says, is the hardest workout he has ever created. And let me tell you, it is tough. That is a tough workout. But it's just basically doing every move a minute through and getting, I think, like a 15 or 30, 15 second break, I think. So it is tough. But I like how every day it was switched up. Kind of a lot like Insanity, like Monday would have been a cardio heavy program and then Tuesday was a strength program and then Wednesday was a um, power workout and then, you know, Thursday, Friday, Friday was the hardest workout of the week so you get it done going into the weekend and you don't have to worry about your workouts for the rest of the week. The music in Insanity Max 30, tons of fun, really upbeat. But it's Shanti. He is a dancer. He comes from a dancing background. In fact, he is a trainer in Hip Hop Abs, which is a dance-based fitness program. So he, of course, chooses fun music. The time, loved it. Every day, I don't want to say it flew by, but 30 minutes definitely flies by way faster than 45 minutes or an hour. So I'd say every day I got to about 20 minutes, and that was where I just felt like 20 to 30 minutes is where I had to really push and dig deep and find the strength within myself. But anybody can do 30 minutes a day, and even if you can't do 30 minutes a day, the whole concept of maxing out is genius in itself because if you don't have time to do the 30 minutes in a day, which you should, um, but if you don't have that time, Basically what you could do is just force yourself to max out. So go as hard as you can for as long as you can and call it a day with your workouts. Another really great thing that I enjoyed about this program, the modifier. There was no modifier in Insanity. So I love that I always had that option there. Now if I'm being honest, I didn't use the modifier a lot. Um, typically I would get to the point where I pushed so hard that I was just dead and I couldn't even do the modified version. But there were times when I had to force myself to get back up or there were moves where the um, unmodified version was a little too high impact on my knees or my back or something so I would switch to the modified version so that was really convenient. Basically, to put it simple, this program now is my soulmate program. I am giving my body a little bit of a rest because I have been sick and been having some issues, but as soon as my body is in go mode, I am jumping back into a round two because this program is so much fun. I got awesome results, which you can see. I'll post that right here. Just click on that little photo there. Um, but I got awesome results. I had fun. I loved it. I swear by it. I will recommend it to everyone. And I look forward to running challenge groups with this program. So in Sandy Max 30, I will leave details down below with where you can order it or I don't know, different things about it, different videos <laughs> or whatever, um, but go get you some. This program is golden, alright? So I appreciate you guys for what 
much. I appreciate you guys for watching and I thank you for coming to my channel as a reliable source for these programs. I hope that you know that these programs I give you a full and complete accurate honest review. There are some I love, some not so much, some that I'm obsessed with and my goal is to share that with you so that you can make the best kind of educated possible choice um, to pick the program that works in your lifestyle. So until next time guys, I will see you later. Bye!